talk about the Heavenly Father. We didn't finish. No, I know, and I was curious, man. I've, ne I've never heard anybody say that. So and I'm, I'm also curious, first off, before Michael. Greg, nice, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, Greg. How are you, sir? This is David. David, nice to meet you. I'm Michael. What's your name? Teresa. Nice to meet you, Teresa. So I, I'm just curious. So tell me, why are you guys here? Okay, so we always go. Uh, we regu Our regular part of just regular ministry, out ministry, is going to different places where we feel that we need to bring the issue of abortion. abortion. Okay. So like we were telling the brother out here is, you know, a lot of us, we got the heart for children. We have children of our own. So right. we think, man, abortion is horrible. I know. I, I can imagine someone doing that to my child, right? So then our first thing is, well, man, we got to go to the abortion clinics, right? Uh -huh. And that's what most people do. We go to the abortion clinics, we get that fire, we want to jump in, we want to rescue, we right. want to be there, front lines, right? But then when we did that and we do that, we go there and we notice, well, there's a lot of college kids coming here. There's a lot of high school kids coming here. And, oh, there's also a lot of people coming with their church bumper stickers and wearing not of this world and church shirts and, and crosses around their neck and pastor's kids and pastor's kids. So we're going like, well, we're, we're here, and we might get a second to talk to people, but it's too late. They've already made up their minds. It's, it's the final lines of this problem, so we need to go back to where it's the roots of the problems. We need to go to the schools where they're indoctrinating the children to say, this is good. We need to go to the churches where they're ignoring the problem, and we need to say, brothers and sisters, help us. This is a problem. We can't, we can't sit idle while this happens. And, and, and so it's an exhortation. It's not a protest. It's not angry. It's not anything. It's just saying, you know, hey, brothers, okay. repent with us. We have the church repent signs out here, but it's not a, it's not this church or that church. That. What do you mean church repent? Big C, big, big C, the whole thing. body. Okay. We say, we say repent with us. You're the church. I'm the church, right? We are the church, right? So repent of what? Of our apathy. Okay. My apathy. apathy I have to do that every day because right. it's too easy for me to like hit the snooze button, worry about work, worry about bills, okay. worry about stuff and not worry about this. Very true. Right? It's just too easy for me. So every day I have to like repent of my own apathy. And so I got to go find other brothers who are going to help me do that, who I can watch their back, they can watch my back, we can link up arm in arm and come out here and stand and just love on each other and exhort one another. I wanted to hear his, his analogy because I hadn't heard that before. Oh, yeah. Some literature, guys. Can we give you some literature, guys? You guys have any questions? I know it's hard to process that on empty stomach. I hate asking people to do that. Get, get. Yeah, yeah. Can we give you some literature, guys? Do you have any questions? Do you want to ask us anything? We're here to talk to people, conversate. <laughs> oh, I know. I hate it too. No, it is. Yeah, I hate it. I couldn't imagine people doing that to my children. I don't like it. But that's why we're out here. We think that it's it's something that can't be ignored anymore. And we just want to work with as many people as we can. We want to get everybody to repent of their apathy. That's what we were telling the brother there. That's what the church, or the signs right there. It has nothing to do with this church, that church, any church, this. It's church. In general. I got to do it. Everybody's got to do it. We all got to do it because we aren't doing it. And that's why this happens. Period. So. We know that we want to go to the place where all of our brothers and sisters are at who are already focused on this, who are already passionate about this. And let's redirect it to something that's actually a little bit more biblical than what we've been doing.
that's it. Love it. Absolutely. So check it out online. It's all in there. You can read those. The, those are kind of more specific to churches because one's like kind of like a history, like, hey, this is what the abolitionists, we're kind of more really just duplicating what they did for their evil. We were talking to this brother over here, Corey. You were talking, he was talking about like the lesser, you know, like take like what you did for the least of these you've done to me or not done to me, right? It's like, well, if we abolish abortion, then who's the least? Who, then who's the least, right? Who's, well, back in those days, that was their least. And that's what they did to take care of their least. Now we're just going to kind of do the same thing for our least. So. Thank you. Thank you yeah, have a good day, guys. Thank Thanks too. for talking with us. We don't bite, we promise. Hey, hey, hey. The worst we might do is accidentally spit while we're talking. I'll apologize ahead of time for that. <laughs> On accident, you know, while you're talking and getting in it, you know, just getting excited is all. <laughs> That's right. It's like those, uh, the Mon you ever watch that Monty Python? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's about what it is anymore, man. Yeah. We're the Borg. You ever hear them do the oh. yeah. We are the Borg. Yep. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Can we just talk with you? We won't buy it, we promise. Be mine. Be better well. Got information while we're out here. It's horrible. It's sad. We just want to. We just want to work with as many people as we can. Did you guys know that they had a bill earlier this year at the Capitol, the HB 948, to completely criminalize and abolish abortion in Texas? You guys knew, heard about that? Oh yeah, we were on either, but that's yeah. Where'd you come in from? Washington State. Wow. Oh yeah, we just had a group of people up in Seattle. Yeah, I just uh, to reach them with the gospel. Yeah. It's the only thing that changes hearts and minds. It's true. And uh, I've seen some of your friends that have kind of put a twist on to make an abortion as the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's tragic yeah. That, uh, that because a proclamation of God's word is the only thing that will change the hearts and minds of anybody. Sure. Yeah, you know, I've, I've preached more gospel getting involved with abolitionism than I ever did before that, though. I tell you what, because I think there's a sense of, I wouldn't say that not any of the people that I know myself, I'll say, at least. Um, but I don't know anybody that, like, puts this as a gospel. They just see this as the, like, the least of the least. I was talking to one of the brothers here was talking to us. Like, God, Jesus said, like, what you did or didn't do to the least of these, you, you, did, you didn't do to me. Yeah, I, yeah. So right now, this is just kind of the most urgent. It's not like it's the only thing, but it's the a. Most, the most urgent is the gospel message. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah, this is. We just use this as like a. Laws. Right. But this is just an, a, a, something to juxtapose against, like. Yeah, like I you know what I mean? That, I know that there's a slant there. And, and as a, no, there's no as, slant. As, as, as I say, well, unfortunately. Here's, here's how we explain it. Let me. Anyway, I got to go. Okay. But, but I, I, I just got to see. Oh yeah, lots do, of videos. I do check the, the AHA stuff out. So it's, okay. It's, 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 the main thing is, is telling people about Christ. Um, well, sure. Okay, so this is all going to end. So oh yeah. It will all end. Yeah. When Christ returns. So That's right. Amen, Christ. brother. Yeah, this definitely is the only thing. We got lots of people. We got people that do IVF, and we got people that talk about. This brother talks about abortion or adoption a lot. He's adopted some kids, so it's something that it kind of pulls us into a lot of different fields that has to do with children and widows and orphans and stuff like that. So it definitely isn't just uh, this. It's, again, this is just has to happens to be kind of the the centerpiece of it all. You know what I mean? So that's kind of where we focus on. You know. Yes, my centerpiece is the gospel itself. There are no substitutions. 
Well, you know, the gospel is our arrow. I mean, the gospel is our sword, right? That's that's what we use. Yeah, yeah, the sword. Yeah, this isn't the gospel. This is the dragon we're slaying with the gospel. This is, just happens to be the biggest dragon at the moment. The first one that needs to come down, you know? Or this is the, the main head, I guess you could say. We're just trying to chop the head. My friends, I have to debate with other brothers in Christ that it's the gospel plus the answer that no. It's the gospel and the gospel of the world. Yeah. In Galatians. And always remember that, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, John. We'll see you around, brothers. Thank you. Okay. You hold that side, I'll get this side, okay? Do you guys want any literature? They must be real scared of me or something, man. They gotta send you over here. <laughs> oh, he's so funny, man. He just plays with everybody. That guy we was talking to, he just went over there and was like hugging him. <laughs> Brothers in Christ, can we give you some information? Can we talk with you real quick? <laughs> what was that? What was that guy's name? Mike? Hi, right, where'd Mike go? The guy that was talking to us. Well, before. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for talking with us. Bless you guys. I can't, Daddy, I can't handle it. Okay, I got it. God, I, I was almost, I was almost ready for like guys in suits with their hands and like walk out with Mario and and Todd there for a minute, the way they were trying to avoid us. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Are you all from Texas here? Are you guys from in town? We're from Missionary of Valley. Way south. In Texas? Yeah, in Texas. Okay, yeah, okay. but yeah. just like along the, the, yeah, the yeah, Mexican border, or are you on the co coast? No, on the, right on the right Mexican border. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Right on. And why why did you guys want to come to this? Like, what are, what are you hoping to get from this and take back? Like, what were you excited about? I don't know what y'all are actually like talking about now. I'm just so I'm curious. Like, yeah, they have different. They're, they're, they're discussing different topics and okay. and, and, uh, and uh, like this uh, this guy just right now is like um, how you talk to your kids, how you interact with your kids, and do you just discipline.